Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the sign of Scorpio. It's not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Scorpio placement you resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading info, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed. We will pull oracles at the end, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, we're jumping right in. Scorpio, first card out is the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy or Sagittarius season could be important to you. We have here the Queen of Swords, air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, as well as the Three of Swords. Two more cards for Scorpio, please. Lots of feminine energy. What else do we have for Scorpio? Let's get the full story. Okay, we got a blob here. The Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. It's funny, I actually saw the Seven of Swords in your pre-shuffle. So there's some funny business going on. No major arcana, so this is not big things. This is something you have, this is everyday stuff. Some, some sneakiness or some strategy someone's using. Two of Cups. Hmm. Probably not the best place to use strategy. Two of Cups is mutual love. You and somebody love each other. Whether that's a friend, family member, or lover, it's going to be different for all of you. A lot of you, obviously, it's going to be a lover or somebody romantic-wise. does look like this person was um, not reliable here. Either you or this person were unreliable in the past. And it broke somebody's heart. Somebody must have might have realized that there was competition or that someone was dealing with multiple people. Very clearly here. Six of Swords, three of six of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands, yeah. And the Seven of Swords, yeah. Somebody was a big time, you know, that's the player card, quote unquote. Somebody wasn't ready to settle down. They were very much still seeing what they what, what options they got out there, picking and choosing. Okay? Picking and choosing. And it looks like someone found out. Looks like someone found out the Queen of Swords. Uh-uh. You see how her back is turned to that uh, Knight of Wands? Yeah. And you're focused on yourself. So either you are the Knight of Wands, the one that was unstable, non-committal, or you're the Queen of Swords that found out. You see things clearly. And finally accepting someone for who they are and cutting it out of your life, focusing on yourself. Look at these two queens facing each other. That's you against you. It's like finally the realization happens that, damn, this person is not serious. Turning your back completely to it, turning all that focus to yourself. That Queen of Pentacles is my uh, mining the business that pays you card. Self-care as well. And if you needed a confirmation as to if someone you were dealing with romantically is only talking to you, they're not. Just in case you were, you know, if you're resonating with this, they're not. They're not. They're definitely giving to multiple people here. No question about it. They love you, but they're still giving to multiple people. So it's like a double conundrum. Both realities existing in once. They love you. Don't get me wrong. They care about you. You care about them. They care about you. But yes, they are dealing with other people. Somebody's dealing with other people here. And it looks like someone's going to find out. So if you haven't found out yet, get ready. Prepare yourself. Um, yeah, there is some hurt. But the Three of Swords is in the past. So I am getting that this has already happened. Okay. So I think this is just to confirm. Yeah, you've already walked away. You're now looking to see what else is out there. But I think the advice is to focus on yourself right now. Okay? Maybe you were confused, but you're no longer what you're you're no longer confused. You you see the truth. And maybe this is the reading that's going to tell you to see the truth or to move on. But there's definitely a moving on here. Move on, see what else is out there. We also have the 3 of wands. Maybe you need to stop waiting. If you have been waiting, stop waiting. Or you could this this is your confirmation it's time to sort of um you know this is not it this is not the one be patient don't uh you know devalue yourself especially coming up as a queen of wands it's showing that you do know your worth and you are willing to wait for what is for you it looks like it's going to hit you out of nowhere though we have the king queen of cups major arcana the tower and the ten of cups Temperance, yeah, something about patience here. Heavy emphasis on patience and heavy emphasis on Sagittarius energy season, which will be in November. Slow and steady, yeah. Whoever it is you've been dealing with up until now, it ain't it. At least it's it, not it right now. It's not to say it's not it forever, but it definitely seems like it's not it right now. There's a lot of uh, people involved, way too many. And there's someone that is definitely being underhanded, sneaky, snake behavior. But they do love you, though, if that matters to you at all. They do love you, but uh, now they're not ready. 
they're not ready. Maybe you turning your back on them is them getting their heart broken. Maybe that needs to happen. But the heavy emphasis on it's time to focus on yourself. Um, it's time to change focus. The five energy of change. Heavy emphasis on someone giving to too many things. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. Although for a lot of you it is love. But someone could just have too much going on. They got too much, you know, too much going on. And it's time for you to see that. It's time for you to, for you to be honest with yourself. And turn your back to the situation right now. If you want to revisit later, you absolutely can. But it's definitely saying what's for you is still out there. What's for you is still out there. And it seems like you got options anyways. It seems like you got options anyways. Because the Eight of Cups is going to the, towards the options. Looking at other options. That's what you need to do. Start looking at other options. Because it looks like this person's been looking at other options. Because it seems like you got a lot of love to give. It's almost like when you least expect it. Heavy emphasis on Sagittarius season. When you least expect it, that's when you're going to find the person that is meant for you, that is aligned for you, that is balanced for you. Someone that's going to give you what you're giving them. That temperance is all about balance. You see how one cup pours into the other? Unlike this situation, that ain't balance at all. Could be the same person that just needs time to balance out. But it definitely says that uh, whatever situation you've been dealing with, I think some of you, most of you already let go of this. This is probably just to confirm that, yeah, they were they were doing stuff, but they also did love you, if that makes any difference at all. Guidance for Scorpio, please. Guidance for Scorpio. I think now is the time to just focus on the self. Keep the love that you have for yourself because it does. you are showing up as a very loving person. Explore your options. Don't put all your eggs in one basket because your basket's got other baskets. <laughs> This person's not quite ready yet. You see, we have the low, we have the um, major arcana for Sagittarius energy and then the lower arcana for Sagittarius energy. So this person has not evolved yet. It's not the time. They're still very much in this playboy, like playgirl energy. And they got to balance that out before they can be in alignment with you. So keep waiting for the person, whether it's them or not. Who knows? We have here soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. See, some of you. There is a lot of love with this person. That's why the Two of Cups is there. But it's also saying, yes, this person loves you, but they're not ready to settle down. Or they weren't at the time. Something about timing here. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I think that's the problem, right? I think that's the problem. So, definitely giving right person, wrong time vibes. That's very much the vibe it's giving. Right person, wrong time. You know? So it's almost saying before you get too deep into it, sort of detach and kind of explore your options. So at least that way you're in a neutral place. But if you continue to sort of wait for this person to be the one right now, you're going to end up hating them. You know how that goes. Kind of get out before you hate them, because that at least leaves some sort of possibility for the future for the two of you. Right? Because we have the Ace of Wands here and the Ace of Swords. That at least leaves some sort of possibility in the future for the two of you. It might take a little while, but right now is not the time. Because I do see, you know, Ten of, ten of uh, Cups is long-term emotional fulfillment. This person's not ready quite yet, even though they love you. They're not ready to be committed to one person just yet. You and your loved ones are safe. New Moon and Cancer. So if there's any sort of worry, no need to worry. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, very much the case. This is what is needs to be focused on right now. Let's be serious. I think you already see the signs. You already get the vibes that this person is. They care about you. No doubt. You feel they care about you, but they're not ready f to be on a one-on-one -on -one situation. They're not ready to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation just yet. So keep your options open until their options close. Sounds bad, but it is what it is. Dream the world into being lizard spirit. Number 38 and starfish spirit. See? open to infinite possibilities so this is either the, not the person for you or it's not the person for you right now but it's definitely saying stay open don't close yourself off to one situation stay open or there's better out there as much as you love this person then there definitely is a connection this person does care about you but there is better out there and it's saying preserve yourself for that be patient don't settle because as good as this connection is, the one that is for you is going to be even better. Okay? Guidance for Scorpio, please. Stay open. Heavy emphasis on stay open and focus on yourself. 
focus on yourself make sure you're doing make sure you're upholding your value don't stay in situations where you know you're an option you're not an option you're the price remember that dream the world into being you're the price it's a showerless stay in bed type of day and that's okay so go at your own pace but heavy emphasis on self-care though do what is best for you see <sighs> excuse me blurt it out, blur, blur out your ideas or hold on to them and see what doesn't happen so you got to defend yourself no one's going to be the defender for you no one's going to stick up for you and what you want and your rights okay so you got to be the defender of your own heart of your own self everyone's always going to do what's best for them and you're no different you got to do what's best for you so even though you love somebody and they love you very emphasis heavy emphasis on they're not ready right now they're not ready right now guidance for scorpio please one card for scorpio they got a lot going on a lot going on too much going on some stuff they're not even uh, they're deliberately not letting you know about there's some sneakiness going on there for sure akasha your guidance is being divinely guided as i said you know you are you're already getting the vibe that yes there's love there but this person's not ready so i think you're kind of being advised to sort of take all your focus off of them and uh that if you do that it will be more likely that you guys can come back in the future because you're not going to be completely heartbroken. But it's like if you expect certain things and this person doesn't meet your expectations, it's going to crush you and kill any sort of possibility that you guys may have in the future. Okay? That's your reading, Scorpio. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.